Hello and welcome, my name is Shin Mentagazo. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to this basic, super basic guide to the champion that is Jin. So he's a marksman and we're going to be talking about his skills. In case you're transitioning from other mobile MOBAs and didn't really play League PC, so this is really aimed for people who are trying out League of Legends for the first time, especially on Wild Rift because there are very small changes. So without further delay, let's head on to the practice mode and let's talk about his skills. So Jin's passive is this bar under his mana. So you got four bullets on your gun that you can shoot, right? There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then he reloads for a little bit. Then you can do four shots again. There we go. And if you notice, the last bullet looks different, right? That is because this bullet will automatically crit or deal double damage. So even if you have no crit or critical chance. Another thing about Jin is if whenever he does successful critical strikes like this, you get a bonus movement speed for a few seconds or while you're reloading. Jin's fourth bullet, aside from doing critical strike, will also deal additional damage to the lower the HP of the enemy. Alright, so right now we deal, with a fourth bullet we deal 320, right? At a full HP Rift Scuttler, but if it's injured like this, 464. So the lower the HP of your target, the more damage your fourth bullet will do. Another thing to remember with Jin, Jin's passive is if you buy attack speed items, the attack speed will be converted into attack damage. So getting attack speed on him means that you'll be getting more attack damage instead of faster attacks or attack speed. Now let's talk about Jin's skill 1. So his skill 1 looks like this. So that's the range and what's gonna happen is he's gonna throw a canister or something at the enemy. It will bounce off to the next target, the closest target to it. Like that. So the range is around here. Like between these two. There we go. So it will bounce up to four times. Once you cast it, you'll be damaging four enemies at once. One more thing to remember about the bouncing grenade is if you manage to like kill an enemy minion, for example, while it's bouncing, the damage will increase. So 35% increase in damage every time. So it's better to last hit with this skill so that you can deal more damage Especially if the grenade bounces onto like um, an enemy champion, right? Now let's talk about skill 2. So it's a long range skill shot like this. And it has a short delay. Now it goes through minions and jungle monsters like this. But it stops at the first champion hit like this. So it doesn't go through champions. Now another effect of that is if you attack someone with uh, let's say your grenades or basic attack. They get a marker like that. And if you shoot them while they have that marker. They're going to get trapped in place. They're going to get snared. So you can like use a basic attack or a skill and then trap them in place like that for a few seconds. Your teammates' attacks will also grant this uh, icon or that marker on the enemy. But I don't have any teammates so you can't see right now. But yeah. One more thing about the skill is remember Jin's passive when he crits? He gains like a movement speed bonus like this. There we go. The same thing applies when you hit someone or root someone. You gain like a short movement speed boost. Well, let's talk about skill 3. You got two stacks on your skill like shown right here and then you can put it on the ground like that so these straps can give you a vision 
especially in bushes, right? They're gonna be useful. But more importantly, if someone steps on it, any kind of enemy at all, it will slow them down and then explode. If it's an enemy champion, while it's slowing them down, they already get a mark. So making it easier for you to land your skill too. But yeah, the enemies can get away of that explosion area if they want to, but they're gonna be slowed. And then finally, Jin's ultimate is this. So you aim it at a direction of your choice. And then you press on the screen, you tap on the screen. Tap on the enemy, for example, like this. He shoots there, right? And also, if you notice, he also shoots four times, right? One, two, three. The fourth bullet's gonna do crit, uh, crit strike as well, just like your basic attacks. And the lower the a HP of the enemy, the higher damage it does. So that is it for Jin's uh, skills or the basic, super basic summary of his skills for anyone who have no clue. And if you want to learn how to play him in game and like what you should do in lane or when you should go all in, when you, when you should back off, I invite you to stay and watch this gameplay right here. And feel free to comment down below any questions you have at all about Jin, about how to play him. And if you have additional tips, feel free to help out as well our fellow gamers who are just starting to learn the game. So again, my name is Shinman Takizo. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one, but for now, enjoy this video. Peace. My point, my rank, while learning. Higher the risk, the more I learn. Plus, everyone's be gonna be playing seriously. I mean the roles in the roles in normal games classic. Yeah, they don't really pick roles. Everyone's practicing the champ they want to practice. Ally slain. It's a kill. Lane. We follow up. Just get out, dude. Enemy slain. He was gonna die to ignite, I think. Ally slain. What? You still? Huh? He's still. <laughs> Enemy slain. I'm confused. didn't go back. So much action in the jungle, nice. Slain. 
Right, Bane used her ult, right? Ally slain. Enemy slain. The dragon has spawned. Hey, good morning, Daniel. What's up, man? Danny boy. And good morning to Setter John Carlo. Hi, thanks for watching. Oh, Yasu was doing pretty good top lane. The dark star. We gotta keep our bot. Bottom turret is under a tank spring. Enemy slain. We can help them get mid. Clear this and go home. Rampage. 
Yo! Unstoppable. Damn. Good job. Leash in God. Ally slain. Down. I'm out of there. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that guy. He's just going to immune me. Dragon, dragon. Attack the dragon. Baron Nasher has spawned. This game's going smoothly to be, to be bad if something happened. Unstoppable. Ally slain. Shut down. Eternity molded by my hands. I hope they signals me if they wanna do Baron. Too far. Retreat. I am the artist. I am starving. I have my support. No, she still died. Don't die. Nice. Enemy turret destroyed. Daniel Sanchez, can I make guides for League of Legends? Hopefully soon. There's like a few heroes that I feel confident in using. Baron. On my way. Yasuo sacrifice. Thank <laughs> you. 
Top turret is under attack. The dragon. Hey! Dragon has I was gonna use my skill Top three here. Under attack. <laughs> wow. Enemy slain. You can do that on your own, right? Good morning, Shin. Hey, Tony Gonzalez. Good morning again. Wait, did you leave? <laughs> I'm sorry. You were here at the start of the stream, man. Thank you so much Enemy for the donation. Destroyed. And I hope you're having a nice morning, too. Enemy slain. Have Your a nice day. Have a nice day today. Enemy also tomorrow, slain. also every day. And thank you for the donation again, Tony Gonzalez. GG, GG, good game. Victory! Yes, we're not gonna get demo demoted. We're gonna stay a little bit for in gold one. Hey, we got MVP, dude. That's nice. That's nice. GG, GG. Did we do damage? Yeah. Everyone played super good too.